Hey guys, welcome back to the Crypto Cube channel. And let me start off by saying that I am no financial expert or financial advisor. If you invest in cryptos or stocks, do so after doing your own due diligence and your own research. Only invest what you can afford to lose. All right. So let's get started here. Um, this is a Bitcoin update. Also, I'm going to go over a little bit of uh, what the stock market is doing as well. All right. So if you didn't already know, you can invest in Bitcoin and the stock market through Cash App. So if you use the uh, Cash App peer to peer money transfer service, you uh, can also they have a category or section for investing. If you look down at the bottom on the far right hand side there, uh, you have the Bitcoin symbol. You tap on that, open it. That is uh, my Bitcoin investment here. I have currently four hundred seventy one dollars and thirty one cents, which is a fractional share of Bitcoin. Um, if you if you were to purchase one Bitcoin right now, it, it's worth thirty nine thousand seventy dollars and 18 cents and as you watch this video you will see that go up or down because the market is very volatile meaning bitcoin will go up or down uh, in real time <clears throat> and you can see the figure uh my investment amount go up and down as well all right so um so if you didn't also already know the market took a dip over the past week mostly because of the uh, Russian invasion of the Ukraine. But it didn't go below. I think it bottomed out at <clears throat> 34,000 and it came back up over the last couple of days. And so as you can see right now, it's at uh, 39,000. And this chart here is the last 24 hours. So it the low point was 38 around 38,414 dollars. So it's it's starting to come back up here. Um, most people or many people thought it would kind of hit that 40,000, um, you know, uh, resistance point, but it did not, it hasn't broke that barrier yet, but I'm confident that it probably will here pretty soon. All right. So that's where Bitcoin is as of today. And let's look at the last week. All right. Over the last week, as you can see, Bitcoin is up one point six five percent over the last month. It is up five point five percent. So it is still a good investment to make, in my opinion, because it, it's still going up, even with all the the issues going on in the world. It's it's still on the incline. All right. So always keep that in mind uh, if you're holding on like I am for the long term you're, you're gonna reap the rewards you're gonna reap uh, gains so um, again I, I don't have a crystal ball or anything so uh, take that with a grain of salt but those are you know those are my opinions on what uh, the cryptocurrency market will be doing especially Bitcoin and Ethereum all right so let's look over if you hit the uh, the little arrow at the bottom that's the stock tab all right i'm still within the cash app app okay so as you can see here you scroll down you can trade any stock just about any stock that is available to be traded you can trade inside cash app all right so you have tesla which is up 1.14 percent apple is up 1.30 Amazon is up. <clears throat> Nvidia is up. Meta, which is the uh, which is Facebook, uh, Meta owns or controls Facebook and Instagram. They're up one point three nine. Microsoft is up. Alphabet, which is Google, is up one point three three. So the market is making a a pretty nice recovery. Now this is as of the close of of the day on Friday. So that, you know, the stock market is not open on the weekend, but um, wow, all of the most traded, the most traded stocks are all up. I haven't seen that in a while. That's a good sign, people. All right. So, um, 
then we'll go down to the biggest movers. These are not as well known companies, but look at the car gurus up 43% in one day. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Everbridge Foot Locker is down almost 30%. Man, I wonder what happened there. Um, Carvana is up 21%. So people are buying cars, I guess. All right. So um, these are these are the more popular or the bigger movers. These are the more popular ones here. Now, if you go up to this category here where you have these buttons, OK, you have your newly added stocks. They're constantly adding new stocks. Look at that shell. Everybody knows what shell is. Uh, you have some Sarah. Uh, HashiCorp. These are all recently added stocks that can be traded on Cash App. Banking and finance. You have, you know, PayPal, Visa, Bank of America. Now I'm looking at I'm looking at the banking industry. I think I think the banking industry will take off and do really well here in the near future because of the the interest rate hikes that are coming soon or that, you know, I don't know how much that will be, but most people are assuming that the feds will increase uh, the interest rate. So look for your major banks to, to do well from that. All right. Let's come out of this. Look at uh, business services, Berkshire Hathaway. Zillow. All right, let's come out of that. Let's look at, okay, food and drink. We all have to eat, right? You have Coca-Cola, Walmart. Okay, let's open up Walmart here. Walmart stock is up 1.38%. This is uh, in the past day. In the past week, it's up, or no, it's down 1% over the past week. All right, so if you come down here, it gives you information. And this is just for an example. It gives you uh, news on that particular stock. Also, it gives you stats, recent stats on that particular stock. As you can see here, the volume, the share price, market cap, financials, the earnings. So, um, I tell you what, Cash App made it extremely simple extremely simple for anyone to get started uh, on their investment journey especially you know people that have never done any type of investing it's very simple to uh to get started and and kind of kind of learn your way um and educate yourself on the stock market and you can and you can start with as little <laughs> as one dollar i mean mcdonald's look at this mcdonald's is up 1.8 percent Again, you get all the stats. One price, one share of McDonald's is two hundred forty-nine dollars. Goes over the volume, the financials. All right, and so if I wanted to buy some stock through them, hit I hit the buy button right there. All right, look at that. You can choose how much you want to invest based off of the screen there, or you hit those dots and you can enter any amount you want to invest with as little as one dollar this is huge all right you don't need you don't need a broker you don't have to pay anybody um the fees are very minimal if you if you buy or sell i mean it's pennies on the dollar as far as like what what your your fees would be um so dollar general craft Yum, which is uh, Yum, I think is the parent company of Pizza Hut and KFC, if I'm not mistaken. All right. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you found value in this video. And hey, hit that like and subscribe button if you found value and if you want to be on the lookout for uh, future videos regarding Cash App. I'll also be doing videos on Weeble investing. I'm on the Weeble platform. <clears throat> so uh, stay tuned for that, guys, and enjoy the rest of your day.